I really hope that I know how to do a blur effect on that because Kate was having a poo. <laughs> Pretty cool weekend planned, so I thought let's start the diaries again. So, five and a half hours to get to Exeter is pretty standard. Hello, hello. hello. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Saturday morning, six fifteen. I'm at Exmouth Rowing Club and we're going to be meeting Gwyn Batten who is an ex-Olympic rower. She's taking the team and I out on the sea and going to teach us how to move the boat in certain boat conditions. But in the meantime, I'm in their training centre and it is amazing. Activity is going out in a coastal rowing boat with Olympic rower Gwyn Batten. She's teaching us how to turn the boat using only our oars instead of using a rudder. Now the girls are all rowers, they're awesome rowers and I'm not. I just jump in a boat and hope for the best. Okay, that I'm not feathering. Yeah, that's fine. Did you say it's nice? Or it's different. <laughs> What are we about to do, Roz? Um, we're about to do a man overboard drill. What else is there? <laughs> so, and move. Yeah, as you see now, you pull them into the boat. How do you feel about going in the water? I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, basically, the guys think I should do it because I'm afraid of deep water, and they're right, so let's do it. How did that feel when you jumped into the water? The boat looks far away. <laughs> it's really surprising how high up it, feels, it, it like feels. So you get up to the side of it, it's like, whoa. That was good, it came very quickly. Man overboard drill, an absolute success. Kirsty, you was an awesome man overboard. I was an awesome body in the water. Now we're going to head out for about 12 hours of rowing, doing our two hours on, two hours off, through the night. Every time I get in a rowing boat, wind against me. Every time. Shift number one done. We've got about six shifts to do today. It's quite a short training row because we've got super, super strong wind tomorrow, getting up to about 35 miles an hour and we absolutely cannot row in that. So we're only going out until about two o'clock in the morning. 
started at 12, finishing at 2. Not very long at all, but today we're just practicing drills and transitions, just trying some new seats, some new food. So it's just about time on the boat and getting used to it. Rowing shift number two complete. It seems every time we row, not only if we got the wind against us, but just typical timing, we also have a bit of tide against us. It kind of makes us laugh because we always we always plan to go with the tide, but it never quite happens. And it's kind of frustrating, but at the same time, we all we all laugh about it because it makes it challenging, and actually, it's really good training. Last night we slept in the marina because there's some really strong weather about to come in. In fact, you can hear it. We're being blown around right now. I think the winds are going to get up to about 30 or 40 miles an hour, so that's far too dangerous to be out. It's really cozy sleeping in the cabin. It's a bit weird to be sleeping in it when we're when we're in the marina. But it's it's all good experience just to get to get used to it. Just about living in this this small space, kind of not being 100% comfortable. It's definitely not like being at home in bed. But it's all right. It's warm. It's cozy. There's not much housework to do. I like it. another full weekend of training and every time we go out we learn new things we think we've got it from the previous time but we go out again and we get better we get stronger and we work even better as a team one of my trains got cancelled bit of a divert now on the tube home but it's not home anymore it used to be home I'm actually moving house in two days I actually moved house already it's confusing anyway I'm pretty ready for some food I'm pretty ready for some rest it's been an awesome weekend Is good, but come on, it's been a long weekend. <laughs> 